Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how the general settings work with our REST API, okay? So with WP Event Manager REST API, we give you certain settings that you can tweak uh, to make REST API more your own. So we're gonna talk about that and the general section that will be our topic today so over here you will find like two options to configure first one is enable rest api so if we check this on that means rest api is enabled and working on this website so anyone with an api access key uh, can access the website's data or perform certain tasks on the website depending on the api access level uh, using rest api okay so we give you a kill switch like simple kill switch to disable the rest api functionality for wp event manager in this website using this single checkbox over here okay right now we have ability to connect to this website and perform certain tasks with rest api okay but if i check this off and save our changes that will disable the wp event manager's rest api not wordpress rest api just the wp event manager's rest api completely okay and that's the first option and what's the second option over here it's app logo so as you heard already we have released an companion app for wp event manager that's available on the play store and on the ios store as well so you can just go there and download it so we give you the ability to show your own logo inside that app as well so this is a like attempt to make our wp event manager's uh, product more white label towards you okay so like how you can change your website's own logo right so we give you the ability to change your app's logo as well not the icon the logo inside your app uh, depending on what logo you set over here so right now by default it will show our wp event manager's default logo but you can like select a uh, logo from here upload so let's say if i select this generic logo over here and if i save our changes that will show up on our app hereafter when we try to log in okay so this basically means the app logo field over here what it does it serves an image file or like the url for the image file okay to the rest api responses whenever anyone queries brand data or branding data from the wp manager rest api okay so this might not make much sense to you right now but when we will demonstrate our app you will be able to understand what this app logo feature does and how to control it i mean i already showed you how to control it but you will have an um, in-depth idea about how the app logo works okay so that's pretty much the two test settings we have over here in our general section or the general settings section over here for our rest api first one is enable rest api so make sure you have checked this on so that means rest api will work and will be activated and if you check this off and save your changes rest api will be disabled for wp event manager okay and second one is app logo as i said you can choose any logo you want over here for your branding purposes so then wherever you will use the rest api to get branding data instead of getting wp event manager's default logo you will get your custom logos url over there to use with your service in a external site okay so you will have a better idea when i show the app as well and as i said you will have a better idea of the app logo when i demonstrate the uh, our wp event manager app so that's pretty much concludes this video let me know in the comment if you have any confusion i'll be sure to help you out in there and until next time i'm sure of saying goodbye thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one